Hmm. Arsenal getting battered, ladies and gentlemen, as we speak. It just hurts that we haven't, we didn't spank these guys when we really should have. But nonetheless, it is time for a Chelsea news blitz, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get on with it. All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. All right, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Lots to talk about, some transfer news, some team news. Um, and as we are speaking, it's 3-0 to Spurs. I'm not surprised one bit. I had complete um, sort of belief that Spurs were going to win this um, at home. As I said, just hurts that we haven't spanked Arsenal. When you look at our team and their team, yeah, they've been playing well, no doubts. But pound for pound, we are a much better team. It's just... And tactically, we, we, were, we were sound as well. It's just individual errors costing us, but it is what it is. Um, with our remaining two games, I believe now we only need a draw, but we should just be looking at winning both of those games and finishing off the season with a bang. I hope Arsenal misses out on top four. I don't want to say anything about them at the moment because I bantered them massively uh, before that Arsenal game that we had, and then we ended up getting spanked. So I don't, I don't want to banter them until, until I actually see them lose out on top four. But let's talk about um, some Chelsea news, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, we've got this transfer news of Khalidou Koulibaly. Now, this particular news is gathering some momentum. Lots of publications out there are talking about it. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. But it is a right sort of rumour, I believe. It is the kind of calibre of defender that we need, experienced defender. Knowing the fact that obviously Rudy and Christensen are leaving and also possibly Aspilicueta going as well. So we need experience. Chelsea have held talks with Kalidou Koulibaly's agent. However, Napoli's owner wants a super offer to let him go. Super offer. I'm not really sure if you're going to get a super offer. Um, I believe Koulibaly is more than 30 years old. And I think he's only got about a year or a couple of years. Maybe, maybe a year left. I don't think you're going to get a super offer. But there were some talks about about 30 million euros or something like that. I think that should do the trick, and that's probably the right sort of price for a you know player above 30 years old with not that long to go in the contract. And um, yeah, I mean, Napoli has been there for a long time. This is this is a decent amount of money for them, but we've got history. We don't have to, generally we can't seem to be doing you know top kind of business with um, Napoli. Uh, their their owner De Laurentiis, I think um, his name is, is not an easy easy. Well, I think chairman. It's not an easy chairman to get along with. But we'll see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this space about Kalidou Koulibaly. It's the right sort of character that we need in defense. Next up, Chelsea are going to be pretty busy this summer. Marcus Alonso is going to leave the club. Chelsea are ready to work on Kounde, but it depends on the price. Sevilla wanted 80 million u uh, euros. Clause last summer. Let's see if Chelsea negotiate or they try to include players for Brizzi Romano. So it looks like Marcus Alonso will be leaving, which is great. I think I think it's time that he moves on. Uh, as I've always said, I thank you for his services, but it's time. In fact, I think it should have been two, three seasons ago that he should have left. So that's another player that we need to replace, um, and we need to replace with good quality. Mark Cogarella, we've been linked with. I think would be perfect case scenario. Jules Kunde, it's a no-brainer. We've been linked with Jules Kunde now for a couple of seasons, and uh, last season was very close in getting it. 80 million euros. I don't know if we're going to be paying that much money. Maybe, yeah, there could be a player swap sort of situation. Um, I believe last season it was something around 60 million euros. So, yeah, there, there seems to be a buyout clause of 80 million. I don't know whether we whether we actually pay that. As, as Fabrizio said, there could be some player, player swap situation. Bottom line, Jules Koundé needs to be done. He's the other defender there. So if we get um, Koulibaly, Jules Koundé, and then perhaps include Levi Colwell as, as, the, as the third sort of backup option to come into the squad. Christian Pulisic and Romelu Lukaku want to discuss with Thomas Tuchel what his plans are because both players want to be regular starters in Chelsea's team. Look, this is an interesting interesting topic to talk about i've always said i don't think our attackers are all bad they're actually very very good players for some reason it just didn't click partly to do with thomas tuchel maybe very small part albeit and also partly to do with their you know players inconsistencies injuries and whatnot and and the she fact that 
there's been so much going on outside of the you know outside of the field so i wouldn't be just dismantling the entire attacking group i think certain players need to go for me i think timo verna is a clear mismatch yes he's produced some really good performances of late but hasn't been enough overall it's not been good enough um, and I think he needs to be moved on. Kalamatan Adoy, it's been a while since we've seen him. The injury has really hurt him. I don't know if we're going to actually see him uh, till the end of the season. I wouldn't risk him. It's his Achilles injury again. It's time he goes out on a loan and really flourishes. So there's two spots there. I would love to get Osman Dembele. I think that's the kind of a 1v1 creative winger that we need um, that really, really sticks out in the free agents market. We should do our level best to get him, but there's talks that he could possibly um you know sign on again for barcelona but we'll see what happens barcelona will have to let go of several players i think coutinho is now gone um to aston villa so they've opened up some money there there's talks about frankie de Jong, um you know possibly going to man united so there could be some money opening up there so they could open up all of this cash for osman Dembele. but if there is a slight chance to get him we need to do our level best because that is the top caliber that we need. But having said that, yeah, Thomas Tuchel has his work cut out. You know, I think I think Romelu Lukaku is someone we should be looking to build around. I, I, if I'm being absolutely honest, um, hundred million pounds player, the talisman. You see what City are doing with Erling Haaland. We need and now. You're seeing what Spurs are doing as well with uh, you know the kind of season that Harry Kane's had. Harry Kane's pretty much had half the season off he, he wasn't performing for the first other season and then as soon as Conte came in he's just started banging in goals and assists and you know gone back to his usual level we need Romelu Lukaku to be that I have always said I love Havertz I think Havertz can play with Romelu Lukaku but I don't think Havertz can be Romelu Lukaku do you know what I mean I don't think we can expect Havertz to score 20 25 goals in a season um, and, and do that striker role. As a second striker, perfect. I've got no issues with him playing alongside Romelu Lukaku. I would be, you know, building my team around Romelu. And at the end of the day, he's still one of the better strikers in world football. You don't lose your quality just overnight. Um, as I said, it's, it's attitude and it's effort that's the issue. If he wants to stick around at Chelsea Football Club and if he can set himself up in his mind that he wants to do well. I think let's build around it. Christian Pulisic is someone we need to seriously think about what we want to do. Can we promise him more game time? I have no issues if he sticks around. He's played three seasons. It'll be his fourth season. We are getting to a situation where what do we do? Do we sell? Do we give him a contract extension? Do we wait another season? Perhaps we can wait another season. But he will demand minutes as well, which is fine. I'm okay to give him those minutes, but can he be consistent? That's on him. Um, I've got no issues in keeping Christian Pulisic, but competition will be fierce, and it, it should be fierce in Chelsea Football Club. You need to do well in order to maintain um, your position. So, look, I'm okay. I'm okay with this whole scenario where both Lukaku and Pulisic wants to sit down and talk to Thomas Tuchel about it, and, and, and you'd think Thomas Tuchel will have a plan for next season for for these attackers i don't mind keeping both of them in fact i definitely want to keep lukaku pulisic i'm okay either way but as i said i wouldn't i wouldn't mind if he if he stuck around i think he's, he's a quality player consistency is something that needs to be um you know talked about with, with him Tuku is waiting to speak to new owners on what their project is but the new owners 100 percent plan with Tuku for the future this is fantastic Breaking, Matija Kovacic's injury is not as bad as first feed. He is due to train tomorrow and could play in the FA Cup final. This is a big, big news, ladies and gentlemen. I thought it was done and dusted. I thought there's no way Kovacic is playing. It's his same ankle that he injured a couple of weeks ago, and it was boom, devastating tackle by Dan James. Um, and I thought maybe that's it for him for the season. But... Looks like he's going to be back training, and I hope he's ready, and I hope it's just bruising and they can ice it up and... This guy for the final will be crucial for us, honestly. But he needs to be completely fit. It's going to be a high octane match. Can't have a player that's not going to be completely fit. Chelsea players will activate an aggregated bonus of one million and share out the cash among the squad, with each player receiving an amount linked to their involvement in matches should they upset the odds and beat Liverpool this weekend. I mean, this is this is great incentive 
Well, why not? Uh, there's a monetary incentive around it. One million to be shared amongst the team. Uh, I can see in the comments something around 45,000 each. Why not? 45,000. Jeez. Goddamn party. Um, as if we needed more, you know, uh, I suppose motivation. This is going to be our third FA Cup final in a row. We've lost, we've lost two in a row, which is... We need to we need to we need to right those wrongs immediately. And this is our second final in a row in a domestic cup uh, against against Liverpool. We lost in the Carabao Cup earlier in this season. We cannot we cannot. And I've got a strong message video coming up in the next um, day uh, as we're building up to the Liverpool match. Uh, I can't lose against this Liverpool. I do not care. I do not care how good they are. We need to beat them. Uh, we need to stop their arrogancy um, and and have one against them. Hold that. Chile be back in training with the youth squad. Uh, this is great to see, ladies and gentlemen. Ben Chil back in training against uh, with the youth squad. That Those leg muscles, they look all right, don't they? They, they, they seem to be pumping. Look, this is, this is fantastic news. I hope he's up and running once the new season starts. Hopefully we get some new faces as well. And um, he's going to be crucial. Our, our football declined so much since he got injured. It's not even funny. It, it's purely because we don't have a proper rotating player for him. Um, but him coming back to the team is going to be a massive boost. Um, I didn't expect Ben Chilwell to have such an impact with Chelsea Football Club. But I'm glad I've been proven wrong. He's a he's a top, top player, no doubt about that. I've missed him massively. And Thomas Tuchel, yeah, the, the three at the back, the wing-back football, heavily relies on Reese James and Ben Chilwell and not having Ben Chilwell was detrimental. Fabinho has been ruled out of this weekend's FA Cup final versus Chelsea. Huge news once again as much as Kovacic um, looking to come back um, you know not a serious uh, injury from, from that Dan James tackle. Similarly Fabinho ruled out is a huge news for uh, for us and obviously bad news for Liverpool. He is the linchpin in, in, in you know, as, as the defensive uh, midfielder just in front of the two CBs. Not having him there, it will unsettle them. He's he's been a rock for them, um, not just as a defensive midfielder, but in set pieces as well. His height, he's he's the one who looks at vertical passing from that deep position. Big big player loss for them and uh, advantage for us. Let's see who they replace him with. For the final, but it's something that we should uh, we should definitely look at as an advantage. West Ham will not sell Declan Rice this summer, and will hold more talks about his future when the transfer window closes. Look, ladies and gentlemen, he's apparently been offered eighty contract at two hundred k per week. I mean, something ridiculous like that. Declan Rice has declined that. He thinks he can get three hundred to four hundred k elsewhere. I mean, seriously, as a defensive midfielder, do you really think you're going to get three hundred to four hundred k? So the attackers don't even get that level of money. Um, whether Declan Rice is saying that just to sort of deter away from this particular deal, but this seems like a PR sort of stunt from West Ham sh showing that, look, we are doing everything possible to keep Declan Rice. It's him who doesn't want to be around. But bottom line is Declan Rice has got all the power on Declan Rice is with West Ham at the moment. West Ham's got two years on him at the moment, plus with a one-year option to keep him a further year. So all up, they can have him for three years. So West Ham are in no rush to let go of Declan Rice, and Declan Rice at the moment has no power to leave West Ham. The only way someone can prize away Declan Rice from West Ham, as West Ham said, give us something, something around 100 million to 150 million, and you can take your man. No club at the moment is going to give that level of money for Declan Rice, albeit a good player. But for a defensive midfielder, that is that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. So, look, I think Declan Rice will have to stick around at West Ham. And uh, we should all just forget about all these rumors about Chelsea linked with Declan Rice, so on and so forth. It's not going to happen. Declan Rice to Chelsea ain't happening this summer, bottom line. Uh, I don't even think it's going to happen to any other clubs either. I think Declan Rice will have to accept the fact He's going to stick around at West Ham. This is another very good news for Chelsea, ladies and gentlemen. Ngolo Kante took part in Chelsea training today. Look, Jorginho hopefully starts for us um, against Liverpool. My preference would be his partner being Kovacic. And if Kovacic isn't completely fit, maybe that role can be shared by Kante and Kovacic part, part. I don't know. Either you know, either of them can play one half each. Um I can't sit here and advocate that Kante needs to come back because Kante has been injured as well. So, look, 
it, it's just good news that both are training, both are participating in the training, and both are looking to be fit for the final. And um, I hope both can feature somewhat. Both of them will be very crucial for that particular final uh, match against Liverpool. We need all these quality midfielders to be back, especially um, the three, uh, the trio, Jorginho, Kante, Kovacic. They're, they're the rock of our midfield. And if we can have them somewhat involved, you know, Jorginho obviously will be there, but Kovacic and Kante somewhat involved, I think they'll go a long way considering they don't have Fabinho as well. Um and hopefully we can do some damage with our forward players up front. Lukaku looking very, very sharp. Ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up our Chelsea News Blitz situation. I just want to have a quick look as to what's going on in the North London derby. Um, I believe that match should be close to finished now. Let me see what is the scoreline. 3 nil still, 86 minutes to go. Yep, that's done and dusted. So Spurs are in the mix. Arsenal got Newcastle next up. I hope they miss out on top four. I swear to you, I hope they miss out. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed this. Smash the like button if you're here for the first time. Subscribe, hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Until next time, see ya.